Hello guys, and thank you for clicking on this video. This video is not gonna be like the one like a reaction or anything, it's just this is legitimately for like what I think is necessary, it needs to be made, it's why I'm making it. It's um for those who've been in a situation like I have, it's like like I'm not terribly mad, but I am upset. I trusted like the place I was um, living at to be legitimately like if I mess up, I mess up and tell me okay it's because you paid late so you're out of here. But it's nothing like that. Um, the place I was living at I'm going to refer to as a uh, Clientsville. <laughs> Very, yeah. yeah. It's like, it first started off because it was a rough patch. Oh, no, I was in college. Um, my sister was like, hey, we, uh, these people just basically opened up this nice. It's like, it's a good starting point. That was Clientsville. <laughs> They market themselves as flats. Like, uh, I've seen YouTubers in flats. It's like a big bedroom or something like that. And it's like, it's nice. It's got a kitchen, stuff like that. This counts, but it's apartments refurbished and then named something different. Which I had no problem with. As long as I was stable and I could build up from here. I pictured myself basically staying here for a good amount of time so I could basically get started. I wanted to try doing YouTube. I was going to basically switch jobs to somewhere else, start work on it, basically try to basically get a place, get in a stable place where I can basically move forward and basically to try to go into basically getting house on my own, of course. And it's like, I went to college, I basically, I know how to cook. It's like, so it's like, uh, stuff doesn't go the way you expect it, of course. I've experienced that a lot now. Living on my own, a lot of stuff happens. Sometimes it's like appointments decide, oh, we're gonna schedule our like, like, just, just recently, recently, I went, went to the dentist, dentist and they told me twice they needed a different doctor. And then I come back and they're like, oh, well, the doctor we said could do it can't because they're not qualified for it pretty much. Okay, so now I'm going to a different place. Like, stuff like that happens. I'm not saying to basically be like, oh, it's this place's fault completely. Because I will admit, like, if this was it, but they legitimately, flat out today, um, told me by saying nothing and by saying everything. It, it's like, it's not the fact that you did anything. Because I pointed out, there's people blasting music daily below me. There's people running in the halls. There's people fighting, arguing, yelling. There's people who have dogs and whatnot who basically sometimes make messes. But it's like, that's, I'm not going to, like, that's, like I said, it's, I ignore all that when there was a snowstorm that hit a while back. Um, there was a blockage in my pipes. I, they said it would be fixed. But they, they never, never fixed it. it. I basically had to wait a while until I basically was like, uh, is it getting fixed? Oh, yeah, it'll get fixed later, pretty much. And they basically, the message I got, because I was like, um, my stuff was still messed up. And then the maintenance man was like, oh, it's just a blockage. You could have fixed that easily. It's like, stuff like that, you get at this place. So it starts to paint a picture like I'm. 
like, like am I the problem? It's like, like I thought about, about this before I decided to make this video. video. Am, am I, I making, making too much of a problem? But it's like, I, I honestly, like, like, like I said, said the thing that I would say I was at fault of when my job was messing up with payments, when COVID, when the COVID, Oh, yeah, that, that stuff was hitting hard. <laughs> and people were doing their own stuff. I got sick, I think, twice or three times now. And my job was basically like, oh, just stay out and then call this number. I did. They were supposed to give me money and then they fought to not give me that money. So you, you have, have to pay rent. rent. But, but you can't, can't go into work, work because you're sick. sick. That, that was the problem. I told them this. I went back to work after getting better. And I busted the tail to basically pay for the stuff. Because like, like, everything I had saved up was being drained because I like, kept got sick. And it's like, okay, I'm wearing masks. I'm doing all this stuff. Because I thought, you know, that's fine. And then I'm like, okay, it's not just that because if you're doing something and someone else is not doing something, that's the problem, so what should I do? I'm just going to get the shots in because it's like, the ones that are out were apparently good now, and my sister was like, yeah, just get that shot because that's the one they got. That's what I did. <laughs> and then I still got sick uh, a few months later, and I'm like, it's like, I had to fight with all this stuff, grapple, and it's like, it, while well, I'm working out. So, like a few on payments here and there, I already talked to them about that. And that was the last time I legitimately was able to have a conversation with a client still. <laughs> Every time I tried to call their number, text them, because I was like, I was making payments on time now, all this stuff for good basically eight nine months like straight going on renewing the lease basically <laughs> the job decides to have no problem they basically didn't send one of my paychecks <laughs> again this job it's like, that's why i'm leaving <laughs> this job they don't answer i'm texting calling they already gave my sister permission, basically, like, if she needs to call on my behalf because they close before I get off work. They gave permission, which today they basically denied and said, hey, we never said she could. We're not going to answer for her. So we're not going to basically admit to that. So I was like, that doesn't make sense. So they've been ignoring my sister. And I, and I found out why, well, because my, uh, my sister was like, hey, I tried contacting them, tried calling them, they haven't picked up. I was like, and she asked me uh, a few days ago, can I um, can I call them in the morning? So I was like, okay, which is why I did it today. <laughs> I called them in the morning, and I basically get the flat out answer. After all this stuff, missing calls, they're not picking up, they're leaving me on hold for two hours straight. And this, this happened repeatedly until, until they close. They come into the house because I told them, which, which I probably shouldn't have. I didn't think nothing of that at the time. Because uh, one time I was off work, uh, it was like a Tuesday. I didn't tell them I off work this. I hear them putting the keys in the door. And I hear the maintenance man and them being like, Maybe we should call him and ask if he's here or not. And one of the managers basically said, I don't know, we can just go in. There's, there's no problem at all. They didn't send me an email. They didn't call me. They were just going to walk in. So, I, um, I basically say, uh, is there a problem? And they're like, oh. Well, uh, no, sorry about that. We just have to check some stuff. And this is the thing. It's like, I'm like, okay, so... 
it's, it's weird, weird, but I'm like, okay, so is this, this normal? Because the, the next time something, something like this happens, they do after five weeks, <laughs> they finally send an email. So they sent another contact that I couldn't respond to. They didn't respond to. They sent it to me, but I couldn't do anything to get in contact with them. We're doing some repairs after I had to tell you. They already were doing the repairs. <laughs> so I was hearing drilling, hammering, beating on stuff for a good two to three weeks. <laughs> And they did not say a thing. But then they sent emails after I asked what's going on in the repairs through a channel I'm not supposed to because it's for requests and whatnot. That was the only way. I had to basically do something I wasn't supposed to. I had to basically, well, not wasn't supposed to, but they don't respond to them normally. It was like a inquiry, so they responded to this uh, rudely with basically being like, well, we changed our phone numbers, we did this, it's not our fault pretty much, and you can just go search up the number, and yes, we sent the email pretty much, they sent the email the very next day after that saying they're doing repairs. <laughs> so that was, yeah, nice. It's like stuff like this was piling up, which is why, again, I made this video. Especially today, it was the boil on the After doing all this stuff, you think I would at least get a, hey, the reason why we're going to have you leave or why we're not thinking about renewing is because we're looking to do this or something. Today, I got the response. I basically called during work, which I wasn't supposed to, and the only time they actually picked up, After leaving voicemails, all this stuff, they basically say, it, it was the vice manager, pretty much. So I, I even asked her, so you would have access to every voicemail, stuff like that, right? And she basically was like, yeah, pretty much. And then she, after that, she only basically had this to say, basically to make herself not liable or to basically cover her and them. She basically kept on saying, legally, we don't have to tell you why you have to leave. And I was like, what? So I got noticeably my, a little irritated with that. I was like, what do you mean? You can't, like, isn't it like a morally correct thing or right thing to do? You guys have ignored me for so long. You guys have done this, 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 and not told me now why I'm being kicked out. Or why you're not, I'm not being kicked out. They're not renewing the lease. So pretty much I have to leave or the note they gave me was we're going to pursue legal actions. Pretty much a threat saying we're going to kick you out. <laughs> Well, not really in the lease, but you do have to leave. And if you don't, we're taking you to court. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And I brought that up. I'm like, I talked to somebody because a few doors down, there was someone who got similar now. What I pointed out to this lady who kept on saying, we're not legally, we don't legally have to basically tell you why you have to leave. Or why we're making you leave, something like that. Which is interesting. Because again, going back to the, the few doors down, there's a person who got the same, no, I think they were out of town, and they were talking about it, and they basically checked their emails, I guess, and they have, re uh, they were basically like, hey, you want to renew with us, this, this, and this? Hey, we tried to call you, this, this, and this. 
so they can call and send emails. But they just weren't doing it for me. So it's like, what did I do? I thought. And then it's like, when she first said it, I know it's out of order, sorry, my, my mind is, is kind of in jumble. Jumbles? <laughs> is when, when I realize they just want, want me gone. gone. They're, They're not going to tell me why, and either I pursue legal actions against them, or I just leave because I can find another place. But I don't understand. It's like, why is it so hard to just tell me? We decided not to renew a lease because this. It, it, there's, there's no justifiable reason why I'm being let go. And it's like, they even try to point out one lady who I think was supposed to. The, the first time she basically, uh, this lady said, let me look it up. Oh, I see there was like two missed payments. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And if it was that, understandable. If it was two, two missed payments, understandable. But, but it wasn't, wasn't two missed payments. I said, oh no, I paid those, but I had to pay both times, two days, two or three days late because of the job, like I said prior. <laughs> and I said, there's no of that, and there's voicemails, and multiple calls I tried to make you guys to let you know what was going on, and you guys never responded. Oh, well, I think that's because, yeah, it's the two things, so if they're going to kick you out, that's why. Okay. So my only guess now, because I'm at a place, well, leaving a place, who refused to even talk to me throughout my stay here, who I never fussed about. Cause like, it wasn't terrible. So I'm like, there's issues, but there's issues you can get over with. So my only theory at that point was, it must be because of money. Because they, without letting me know, increased the rent. And then on the new lease when I signed, and I voiced a concern to them, like, why is it getting increased? And then they basically said, we decided to increase it, and you can choose not to pay it, but you'll have to leave within 10 days, pretty much. That was what I had. <laughs> before the new month. And I was like, wow. It was like, like five, five, ten, five, five days. days. Yeah, so it was, it was like, okay. What, what should I do then? So I decided to sign the lease again. I'm like, okay, I talked to, to, to my family when they were like, it's not that much of an increase, it's fine. And if there's any troubles, we know you can handle it. <laughs> I will know. Again, it's the job I have has had some had issues, so it's like, is that the reason I was getting kicked out? They could have told me that, but then again, they don't. They didn't tell me anything. They haven't talked about it. They just decided I'm gone. And. They're justified in doing so, so they don't have to talk to me. Mind you, I haven't brought this up, I think. There are elderly people living here. And I know they're not doing this to these elderly people, just not responding to them. So is it because I'm younger that they think they can just kick me out and I won't do something about it? Like, like what in their minds, what, what does Clientville think? 
but the flats, flats of Clientville. <laughs> what is this? It is puzzle. I still can't figure it out. So I know with what the information I have, and I do know I've. <laughs> sorry. Sent voicemails. I've called them multiple times. So there would be a trace there. If, if I, I had, had to get the, uh, the legal information for a trial, because they basically said they would sue me. I've talked to people, a lot of people are like, it's not worth it, it's like the place is not great, so... I could leave, but it's like, I just feel like, that's a loss, right? What would you, you uh, what, what would you guys, guys what would, if anybody, anybody watches watch this, this, what would, would be your opinion on this? It's like, am I just making too much of a big deal about it? Am I overthinking it? Yeah. Because, like, I thought I took the necessary steps to do what was needed. To maintain, maintain a pretty, pretty stable, stable life. life. Also, when, when I basically, basically brought a lot, lot of the stuff up, up and basically I was being like, that, that doesn't make sense, so you're, and, and I flat out basically, because I just wanted to know, I basically said, phone the phone to this lady. What, what you just said, because she wouldn't, she was tiptoeing around it and basically just saying what I said. Legally, we don't have to tell you why we're kicking you out. Which doesn't sound right, but it's like maybe it's in their claws. Like they can just kick me out. But that doesn't sound right. Like, can they just kick you out? It's like. This is why, first of all, I should say, if you know the place I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. If you're looking for a new place to live, looking, you're like fresh out of college, looking for a first start, do not go to this place. It's less headaches for you. It's like the, the, the pros and cons, I'll say, because the pros, it's area, there's literally like a lot of places you could go, it's nice. The places to live, they're okay. Like I said, it's average. But that doesn't warrant a renting place who will not do their job, who will not listen to you, who will not send you notifications when something majorly, like major issues are popping up, and then can, their own words, decide they don't want you there, so you're gone. It's like, that's the iffy thing. Her words, multiple times, no break in it, like she was justified. The client's bill was justified. Were, and I'm not paraphrasing, because there is a bit I asked her multiple times. This phone call is being recorded, right? And if it ever has to be shown in court, I was getting irritated. I was raising my voice, but I wasn't yelling. It's like, I don't like to yell. <laughs> But I know, I was like, this is ridiculous. What is this? Why? What? How does that make sense? Like, like it doesn't make sense. I was exactly like this. Like, I don't get it. And then she was literally like, you need to calm down. And let's start from zero. And it's like, oh, it's condescending. It's like they treat people like... Garbage. 
Again, Again sorry, sorry, that was a tangent. tangent. Just why, why you shouldn't. Pros, there's, there's a, a nice, nice area around where you would be living. <laughs> Cons, the, the rental service, service, the leasing place, and the fact that, that they can just kick you out whenever they feel like it. Like, like you don't, don't have to do anything, do much. They're, they're not, not going to tell you. You'll just be gone. Left, left wondering, wondering what, what you did. did. Now, this on the computer is the place you'll be living in. It's not terrible, but it's not, like I said, it's like an apartment. There are pros and cons like that to it. But I honestly urge, sorry, bro, for those who are just leaving college, avoid this place. To those who are looking for a fresh start, and find this as reasonably priced or nice, which I think they're gonna raise the price again, which is why I'm gone. That's again just not my theory because they haven't given me anything else, so I have to draw my own conclusions. Do not, because if they feel like they could be making more, or if they feel like you're not what they want, they'll find any justifiable reason again without telling you why you're in the mood. I thought, I thought it was weird. I will point, point this out. Throughout my year or two being in, the, in that area, I saw multiple people leaving. I'm not joking. It's like I saw so many U-Haul tr trucks and U-Haul basically stuff. Taking people's stuff and they're gone. Why within the span of like one year would so many people leave? I should have saw the signs. It's like... It, it, there's coincidence and whatnot. Maybe all of them just decided that this wasn't the place for them. Maybe some of them were being unruly and left. I'll take that into account. But no joke, like 30 <laughs> to, I would be generous to say 35. Because I was going to say 50, because I'm not joking. One after the other from uh, the other one to the one I was living in. Oh, I'm not believe currently. So many people left. It just raises the red flag. Like, what are they doing? Is it just all of us are a problem? Like, what is it? Then again, I can't know. Because they won't tell me. And apparently, if it's true, they don't have to tell me. I can just leave or be kicked out again. It's, it is what it is. So my final thing I have to say about this, like I said, I honestly don't want this to be like, oh, you're just mad that you're leaving. Like, Please don't take it as that. Because I was upset. Like I said, I admit. So it's like this part of this is me being upset. But it's not because I have to leave. I can find a different place. I'm not like terrible when it's like I've never been evicted, stuff like that. So I can find a different place that will accept me, like, no problem. What is the problem? 
is the fact that they don't have to tell you, or if they do, they refuse to tell you, and they'll just kick you out. I don't want anybody else going through what I am going through right now. So just take my words, whatever you get from this, to heart, and do not stay here. Like, I honestly pray no one decides to stay here. If you're in a spot where you need a place, this isn't it. This is not the spot you should live. Because if they can't tell you that much, they're not going to tell you anything. And if you get on their nerves, they won't tell you it's because you got on their nerves. You'll just be gone. Thank you for listening to this. I hope this was helpful. I hope you understand a bit. It's like it wasn't meant to be a rant, but... It is what it is, take it for what it is, and please be safe, and don't get yourself into a situation where you choose horribly.